typhoid fever enteric fever is a severe bacterial illness which occurs where sanitary conditions are poor permitting contamination of food or water with feces the bacteria which are spread by fecal oral roots invade the intestinal wall and spread through the bloodstream to all organs they are passed into the stool and urine of infected patients organisms may continue to be present in the stool of healthy carriers that is patients with positive stool cultures 12 months after treatment or those with um, long-term subclinical disease even properly treated um, typhoid fever may result in complications such as intestinal perforation with peritonitis bloody stools acute psychosis and severe intravascular hemolysis leading to um, acute kidney injury especially in um, GSSPD deficiency. Public education on good personal hygiene, hand washing and appropriate disposal of solid waste would um, often prevent the disease. The screening of um, food handlers by carrying out stool cultures is to exclude um, carrier status and safe handling of food, fruits and vegetables are also helpful preventive measures. The causes are um, salmonella typhi and paratyphi. The symptoms are fever, which increases gradually to high fever and persists for weeks. Fever does not respond to antimalarials. Constipation in early stages, abdominal pain and diarrhea in the second um, week of illness, severe headache, dry cough, psychosis and confusion may occur. The signs that are usually elicited are high fever with a relatively slow um, pulse rate, occasionally pulses fast, um, fast especially with um, myocarditis or intestinal perforation, abdominal tenderness, hepatose, plenomegaly as tendon, and confusion and signs of chest infection as pneumonitis, Inve investigations, FBC, differential RDT or blood film for malaria parasites to exclude malaria, blood culture, and stool culture, urine culture. And some few notes on diagnosis. So diagnosis of typhoid fever is based on strong clinical suspicion backed by um, blood cultures positive during the first 10 days of fever. Um, stool cultures positive after 10th day up to 4th or fifth week and urine cultures positive during second and third week and the above tests are superior to the without test which is unreliable and really useful in confirming the diagnosis of typhoid fever so the main treatment objectives are to eradicate the infection to detect and manage complications to prevent transmission of infection to other people non pharmacological treatment, tepid spongent to reduce body temperature if required, and pharmacological treatment, ciprofloxacin oral in adults 500 mg 12 hourly for 10 to 14 days, in children 10 mg per kilogram 12 hourly for um, 10 to 14 days, or ciprofloxacin IV to be administered over 60 minutes. In adults, 400 mg 8 to 12 hourly for 10 to 14 days. In children, 10 mg per kilogram with a maximum of 400 mg 12 hourly for 10 to 14 days. So, ciprofloxacin should be used with um, with um, other recommended antibiotics in children. Ciprofloxacin may rarely cause tendinitis. At the first um, sign of pain or inflammation, patients want, must um, discontinue treatment and alternative treatment. For example, azithromycin or ceftriazone should be started. The second line treatment, ceftriazone IV in adults 2 to 4 grams daily for um, 7 to 10 days and in children 100 milligrams per kilogram daily for 7 to 10 days or azithromycin oral in adults 500 milligrams daily for seven days and children 10 to 20 milligrams per kilogram for seven days to so referral criteria to so refer very ill patients and those 
with complications such as um, intestinal perforation, intravascular hemolysis, and peritonitis to the appropriate specialist. Um, health careers should also be referred for specialist management.